Hey, what's up, Rizin? How are you doing? How was your hey, weekend? It's great, it's great. How are you? Oh my God, such enthusiasm. Yeah, why not? <laughs> anyway, so uh, we are back on our third weekly catch-up. I didn't, I didn't think we would get to number three. <laughs> I thought we would, as uh, you know, as most of our, most of the time we do, we don't reach uh, stick to our goals. But number three is quite good, you know. Number three is uh, is progress, and uh, let's talk about Remix VR, where it is to what happened last week, and uh, what's the plans for next week? Yeah, sure. Um, so let's let's see what we planned last week. Uh, so we had plans to finalize the themes config, uh, or to also include the spaces, mm-hmm. and we also wanted to start working on the front end authoring tools, and we also kind of wanted to have uh, show the list of themes when you're logged in. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let me let me share my screen and I'll show you what, what happened. Okay. All right. So can you see my screen? Yeah. Can you zoom in a little bit though? Yeah. Can you see, yes. can, can you see this one? Can you see this one? Can I see, can I see the word? Can, can you see this text on the screen? I, I mean, I can, but I, I don't know if oh, sure. people who are viewing the... That's sure. No? Is that enough? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So this is a theme format that we kind of uh, kind of got into. Uh, so you can see that we have spaces. So a theme can have multiple types of spaces within it. So if we, if a theme has multiple types of spaces, it will ask the user what kind of space, uh, uh, what kind of space to create. But if if a space like this, oh, sorry, a theme like this has only one space, it will by default take this uh, default one. Uh, it, it, the user doesn't need to specify which kind of um, space it needs to create. So okay. here uh, we can see a virtual tour kind of config where. Um, where we are saying we can have multiple types of spaces, any number of spaces, and each space will have a photosphere. And uh, as a child of that, uh, there will be position, which is like the hotspot. And each spot, hotspot has also one more child called link field. Uh, the link field will, will be used to link from one space to the another. So a simpler, simpler version would be uh, just having this photosphere. So this would be a a, a config for uh, a 360 image, image. Viewer where mm-hmm. where it's just taking the photosphere. Mm-hmm. And since it's just a viewer, it does max count will be one, which would which would mean it would only allow one photosphere to be uploaded. Okay. Uh, so that's a, that's a basic config that we kind of settled into. So let's look at uh, how. To, what kind of changes happened in the front end? Mm-hmm. So uh, here I'm on the dashboard. Uh, I'm in the local server. Uh, so here you can see the list of projects that I've created. Most of them are doing testing. That's why you see a lot of lot of uh, projects here. So let's try creating a new uh, project from here. So when you try to create a new project, it will show like the uh, project title uh, uh, and description, and you can select the theme. So mm-hmm. all the themes will be shown here. So right now we have just added one thing. Uh, so let's try doing that. So once the theme is created, uh, they are taken to the theme, uh, sorry. Once the project is created, they are taken mm-hmm. to the project specific edit page. Uh, this is the project's uh, uh, identification. So here, uh, in that specific theme, for this project, we have uh, specified that it should take Photosphere. So okay. that's why. So f- from the for, uh, from the config of the theme and the project's field, we generate this field list. So in case okay. uh, there's like title or something that's needed from the user, we can it will come up here. But that needs okay. to be defined in the themes config. Okay. So uh, once I add it here, let's, let's see if it works or not. 
uh, and try uploading one. It's just a second, let me make sure my dev uh, panel is open so I know something goes wrong. All right, so it got up, updated. Uh, yeah, it's saying it kind of worked. So let's uh, see if it actually worked or not. All right, so let's see. let's paste our project stuff here, and uh, yeah, and you can see in the return field uh, the updated URL of the file is also uh, shown. Okay. So this I'm calling the project spaces API which will list all the spaces inside the project and each, okay. uh, and all the fields along with it. So mm -hmm. this data is being used uh, to actually render the, render the project when you're viewing them, which is an extra. Yeah. Right now, I don't have the viewing uh, page ready. Okay. But two weeks ago, we saw the preview of that uh, when we updated the theme to take the API, API data. Yeah. yeah. During that time, we, we uh, Kind of fixed on the project you uh, project identifier. So right now uh, I'll need to create a new page where it will display that theme, and while also taking the the project specific data from the URL. So it should take the project's ID from the URL and it should display that specific uh, project's data. So that's the next okay. step uh, for uh, making this a reality. And uh, yeah, we will also be adding. Uh, two more templates, which is like the 360 photo viewer and the 360 video viewer, which are what we are planning to complete this week. So, okay. so a user will be able to uh, upload photospheres or 360 videos, and uh, we have a link to share uh, for, the, for their project. And we'll also okay. add like a titles and description uh, probably uh, so that once you view the template, it will show a kind of uh, title and description of the photo right within the VR. And mm -hmm. they can click like a start button or something to start viewing the panorama. Okay. So yeah, that's the next step. Okay. Yeah. And when do, think, yeah. when do you think, when do you think we'll be working on the lessons template? Lessons template uh, is a little more complicated. Uh, so, We'll lesson have to theme, see. Sorry. Yeah, lesson theme. Yeah, uh, it depends on uh, many other factors. Like we, right now, we don't have the nest, nesting in the front end. With nesting, in the sense like uh, having a child field. Uh, we, we're not sure how to how to uh, render them on the front end to make it easier for the user to enter the data. Mm. That that remains to be seen. But we'll, we'll, uh, before that, we'll be adding the periodic table template, uh, which the user can customize a little bit. Okay. Some text and colors and stuff like that. Okay. Then uh, okay. we'll also be starting to working on a global citizenship template, which would, okay. uh, which would take the user to a different link in the da dashboard. And uh, it'll, it'll list uh, all the previous classes they have held and also have the ability to create a new class. A class mm -hmm. in a sense like a class session where uh, the teacher can create a new session where the students will be able to upload panoramas uh, to a unique link and it will be visible online as a collection. Okay. okay, that makes sense. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Uh, I think, I think uh, the one thing that we, we should try to like uh, focus on more is like getting that lessons theme out. I know like it's in progress, but uh, if, if if our focus is going to be teachers, then I think, you know, having that lessons theme, lessons theme is is very critical in terms of at least, if, even if it's not fully functional, but at least demonstrating the value of, you know, how this can be used. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah, we can uh, we can kind of uh, once these two uh, basic teams th basic teams are ready, which is the photosphere and the video, 360 video. And what about can, the 3D the 3D 3D, uh, 3D model too? Yeah, that can be done too. 
So okay. uh, once those are ready, we can kind of combine this, these three templates mm. uh, and make them into one, one theme where the user will be able to select what kind of uh, slide or what kind of content to put in the next uh, space. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. can be intentional. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so basically, uh, what we have done now, we have started working on the front end. So all the we're trying to create like a dashboard and like a workspace for for teachers or actually this is not really for teachers right now. This is mostly for like anybody who wants to uh, use Remix VR uh, with the UI. Um, and if they just want to use the code, they can pull it from GitHub and and host it themselves. Um, the I think I think it's pretty self-explanatory right now. So you have a project, and a project has a space, right? Uh, yeah. A theme, a theme. A yeah. project is based on a theme. Yeah. Um, so right now, the themes we have is, or at least we are planning to build our virtual virtual tours, 360 photos, 360 videos, 3D objects, and uh, a lesson theme. These are the five themes that we are going to work on. And then we also have some other themes, right? Like the um, the chemistry theme, the uh, the periodic table periodic theme. Table, yeah. Table. Yeah. If we can put that also, so that you know, we can at least have some change of color or change of yeah. size or something like those yeah. things uh, will be useful. Um, yeah, and I think this will give like an overview of you know how this works. How do we how do we demonstrate like the remixability of the remix we are you know like that's the whole point the whole point you have a theme and then you can remix it right you can change it uh, how do we do that like how do we is have we planned on a way to to really show people okay this is what remix remixing a template means remixing a theme means mm -hmm. uh, is yeah it, remixing a theme is just basically right now uh, the functionality is written under the create project button so just click a click create project button. And you can just select any theme that's already available. Uh, later on, uh, what we are planning is uh, to have a remix button inside the projects, of, uh, mm -hmm. projects, uh, sorry, projects page or something like that. So the user can also remix uh, along with the content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think like some, something to demonstrate that also. I, I mean, at least if it's not completely functional, because it's going to take a while to to get to like a user interface where remixing is like possible. I think at this point, uh, code-wise, anything can be taken and changed and and used, right? Like that's not a problem. Yeah, uh, if someone right. uh, wants to uh, build a specific functionality, the all the code is in GitHub and they can add. Uh, certain functionality based on and that. all and all the config files and how to use that all that is kind of done yeah so today if you're a developer who wants to you know i mean who doesn't want to start from scratch they can always go to remixvr.org find these themes that we have built uh take them host them on their own servers and uh and create whatever they want right it's possible at least yeah. the themes that we have right now which is photos virtual tools videos mm -hmm. 3D objects and uh, ideally a lesson plan, right? So these are the four, four things. Um, yeah, I think it would be interesting for us to like maybe once this whole process is done, is to work with some content creators and see, you know, like how they would kind of use it. Uh, because I think our 3D object stuff can only support one 3D object at this point, right? Like there's no multiple mm. 3D objects in, yeah. in one space. Okay. It can, it can be done. Uh, a, a specific theme for that has to be built. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is, is it possible to have all of that in one theme? Like, or do you have to have one one theme for like one 360, one, one 3D no, object? No, not really. Like, a, a single theme can support all of them. Yeah, I think so, you know, something like that but, would be, I mean, it, yeah, when, when we the have the... the uh, the main problem is uh, challenge the placing. placing is like, yeah, placing, yeah. If the placing, uh, updating of placing and rotation, that kind of stuff, uh, I'm not sure how to do it in UI wise, how to represent that mm. to the user. Uh, but is otherwise, that, is that, it's a fixed spacing. Yeah. yeah, is there a way where like you can, 
you know, say someone has created something in Unity. I mean, this is just like I'm just I'm just sort of brainstorming here. And Unity has all its parameters. It has its gravity and it has its physical attributes of all the objects. Um, like when if they hit an exp, I don't know if it's possible. I don't think it's possible. But like maybe if when they export an object, I don't know if it's physical attributes. Like it's, you know, it's. I don't think no. I don't think that's possible. But I was just thinking like if something like that can be done, where you know you're you're just extracting uh, the 3D objects with its attributes and put it on a, a potential future theme of of Remix VR, then it just kind of takes it from Unity and makes it into Web VR. Like I don't know if that's even possible, but uh, it, that would be something that would be interesting, I think. Right now, I think Unity themselves has a web VR exporter where you can, can just export the file set. Okay, yeah, then then that's something that we can we can look at, right? Like if so, mm -hmm. if, you know, if you have, if there are certain uh, people that certain companies that want to create lessons and they want to use a good theme uh, that helps them create it, but they have all the content. Like I think a couple of the UNICEF companies. Uh, they already have, you know, these very elaborate 3D lessons in Unity. Uh, not lessons, but, you know, experiences. Uh, I think if there is, like, a good way to do it, that, you know, at least we should support it uh, potentially some, somewhere down the line. Um, but, yeah, I think I think that's just, that's good uh, progress. Um I think on my end, I'm working on some of the curriculum stuff for uh, for the Global Citizenship Project. Uh, and I think we'll talk about the Global Citizenship thing, I think, next next week, so that uh, this week is more about this update. Uh, next week, we'll talk about the Global Citizenship and what we're trying and trying to do with it, um, give a more, uh, more deeper, you know, view of what, what exactly that, that theme is going to be. Uh, is there anything else, man? No, that's that. Yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I think that's a good update. Um, if people want to know more, they should go to remixvr.org. And uh, if they want to contact us, uh, we are on Twitter, I think mostly, at Risen, at Risen, R-I-S-O-N-S-I-M-O-N, and Vineet Devaya, V-I-N-E-E-T. D E V A I A H, I think, uh, or should or should they email us? Any any method is fine. What what's our email? What what's the contact email for Remix VR? Uh, Remix VR at teleportme.com. Okay, Remix VR at teleportme.com. Okay, cool. Uh,